And topping the news at 5.30, an update to a story that Rich Newberg first brought you last night on News 4 at 5. Minutes after his report aired, a South Towns woman emailed WIVB.com to tell us about bullying in her school district. Rich joins us now with her story. Rich? Eight-year-old Haley Palmer goes to school in the Lakeshore District, and she pleaded with her mother not to be put on the bus again. It is another disturbing case of alleged bullying at the elementary school level. She's been hit, she's been kicked, she's been pushed around in the seat. Eight-year-old Haley Palmer said her best girlfriend turned on her. And along with another boy in her class at A.J. Schmidt Elementary School in Angola have been tormenting her repeatedly on the school bus. I didn't want her to hit me. I just wanted her to stop. But she wouldn't. These kids aren't really being punished for it. Riding the bus is a privilege. We've been told that over and over again. If you don't follow the rules, then the parents have to take their kids and pick them up from school, and this just isn't happening. I've been told Haley's case is still being investigated, but Lakeshore School Superintendent James Prisposniak declined an on-camera interview and told me Haley's teacher and principal would not be made available to comment. Lakeshore's anti-bullying practices say the district provides coping skills to the targets, bullies, and bystanders, and that there are discussions in classrooms and training provided for teachers and staff. Why, then, is 8-year-old Haley afraid to get back on the bus? I didn't want to ride the bus anymore. I just wanted Mommy to drive me to school. On Tuesday, we heard the story of six-year-old Sarah Smith in the town of Wheatfield, who said she was forced to stab herself in the leg by bus bullies. A flyer circulated by her mother calling for bus aids on every school bus brought a half dozen more cases in the Niagara-Wheatfield district to light. Jennifer Smith wants districts to come down hard on bullies. We're not going to take this. We're not going to put up with this anymore. This is it. You're done. Back to today's case, Haley's, uh, Haley Palmer's mother told me that Haley's teacher tried the hardest to stop the two other children from bullying. There were also talks with the principal and superintendent, but the bullying, says Mrs. Palmer, continued without punishment. Reporting live, Rich Newberg, News 4 at 530.